Hello. Welcome to my channel. This is your princess, Amazing Grace. Just wanted to throw out some um, Bible verses to you today and to go study on your own time. Uh, look it up, Google it, and then go read the word. Uh, first one is Matthew 6 and 33. Come on in. Uh, Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, John 16. God gave his only son. Proverbs 18, 22. A man who finds a wife finds a good thing. Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. I read Ephesians now. Come on in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Philippians. No, oh, that's Ephesians. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I declare and decree that you are the head of my life, Lord. That I have no other God before me, Lord. Yes, oh God, you my everything, my way maker, my strong tower, my redeemer. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I love calling you, Lord. Hallelujah. For you have everything I need. 1271. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for doing it for me, Lord. 1271. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If it had not been from the Lord on my side, where would I be? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, uh, yeah. Ephesians 6 11. And it reads Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the vows of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah. So when you out there arguing with somebody, because you may fuss with somebody, but if they're not serving the Lord, and you can't work it out, and they're closed-minded, that ain't not a bob. He has a demon in him. Yeah. So, it can look like it's so tricky. I was tricked, uh, and you, we all are. It'll look like God. He comes in like a light. All the way down to almost with something you missing. Counterfeit. It's like when you go take a hundred dollars, a real hundred dollars, or whatever currency it is, when the counterfeits make it. If the counterfeit be missing something. Same way with Satan. He's not authentic. God's people are authentic. We have a mark on us. You know? And uh, we was born in sin. God brought us out of sin. You know, and that's when he went to the cross. And that gives us, you know, access to come to him and be saved. Baptized. And then uh, confessing that he is the Lord and Savior, and believing that he died on the cross for us, confessing with your mouth, you know. And uh, so he buys us back from Satan out of sin. He died on the cross for us. We all was born, fell upon the sin when uh, Adam and Eve, you know, that, you know, ate the apple. You know, so, but 
He's he's a he's a he's a fake. Tell you a story, and I thank God. I wasn't even looking for a mate. In this light, I really thought that he was from the Lord. But I'm not to talk about a lot of it because God brought me through. But what I will share and say is that by the Spirit, by the Spirit, invite him to church. Learn about his family. Ask important questions. Not what y'all gonna eat or what movie y'all gonna watch. Go deeper. Open up those doors and see his reaction or her reaction. Go both ways. Women are dressed Jezebels. Men's too. You'll find out I I found out he wanted he had time for everything else, but no time for God. The red flags was there. I ignored them, ignored them. Those are your warnings from God. Please don't ignore him. He got bells and whistles. Red flags are everywhere. You was like, nah. But he made me feel like this. Oh, he touched me like that. You better put him in God's hand and ask God to reveal his true, true, his true spirit and nature, his true motives. He might be sent to kill you. He wants your soul. That's what mine's wanted. And I thank God that he keeps me safe. He has, he didn't know that he, that I was, I was in wrong too. I had a thing where I had to confess this. Uh, because I had been clean for 20, say 20 years clean. No nothing clean. Going to church, gave my life, dedicated my life to God, and I'm not glorifying this. So when I got to my 20 year mark, I said, Lord, to, 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 to celebrate, I'm going to take a drink of wine. And I did that, you know, every year for a while, you know. But, you know, that was a door. Normally nothing gets to me. But little by little, my flash was coming alive. You got to keep your flash dead. If not, you'll be in your emotions. And Satan knows when you're in your, mo your uh, emotions. He's knowing you got the whole arm on you, too. So go. Every day you go outside, put your whole arm on. Because if not, he can just pew. Take the arm on. He was like, what? No, you know, what's going on? Because he ain't covered up. So that's how he got. That's how I was in my flash. My flash was being open. And it was perfect time. Satan watches you, studies you. The more I read the Bible, the more I know to read the Bible. He can confirm what I'm telling you. I'm not, uh, I'm teaching this parables and telling you my testimony so that you don't be fooled. He was a, I thought he was a beacon of light. I thought he was a child of God, but I have to take my part that I played. 
Why that one drink a year that I started to take? When I met him, I invited him to take a drink with me. And uh, and I had my back. I had some problems that I was going through about my back because I hurt my back on the job. And I know I'm not glorifying this. This is just my testimony. God dealt with me with all this. You can't be clean. You can't be serving God and the devil too. Uh, marijuana, they say, uh, does a lot of, you know, it has a good medical benefits. You know what I mean? It helps you. Glaucoma, it, it lets the, the cancer patient eat. All kinds of stuff, you know, for medical reasons. So when my back went out, you know, something popped in my back and I don't want to have surgery. They still want to, I won't have surgery. Uh, you're not going to be doing all that to me, no, no, no. So anyways, I salute all the ones that do have it, you know, not knocking nobody. But I was not able to work anymore. And uh, a lot of people, just all my family was working and I didn't have, I didn't have enough money to just live and do. Uh, I had my social security, whatever, I had a lot of funds. But with my lifestyle and the things, you know, to pay all my business, my job, the job would help me, you know, supplement, you know, things I had to do. I had grandkids to take care of and me, bills. I was overseeing a lot, you know. So anyways, I said, I just can't stay here. So I said, Lord, turn your head, you know. I got to try. I said, it's good for everything else. Let me try it. It helped me do, true. But God don't want me putting that stuff in me. You know what? It opened up some doors. And he also came and ministered to me. Just imagine being high. You know, relaxed and you're on your little wine or your weed. And the Lord come and minister to you. Prophesy to you. Mm -mm, that was enough to keep me straight. That's been almost seven years ago. So I just keep pooping, poop, poop my little car, clean and sober today. Then I fell into sin. God said, it ain't what you do is how much, you know, you ain't supposed to fall into neglect with nothing. Now you can drink all this. It's in the Bible. You can't drink a glass of wine. <laughs> You got some trouble with your stomach. So that's what the words say. And uh and God ain't a minute to lie, so but I ain't never seen nothing about no marijuana. Uh I say it is a herb, but I don't want the Lord visiting me and I'm not promoting that stuff. First of all, it tears up your lungs. It'll fix one problem, it seems, but then it'll give you another problem. Yeah, it may make you feel good, but at the end of it, you won't be able to breathe sooner or later. I don't think it's worth it. You know? Side effects. Yeah, it's going to fix this, but guess what? Seven, eight years is going to break down this. So. But anyway, uh, back to the light. I was fooled. I wasn't, you know, I had been single and celibate and wasn't thinking about nobody, but I was tricked. I thought he was the was a gift from God. And I think I was a gift to him, but he said that because I'm a, not a size 10 and I don't go to clubs, and uh, I don't say bad words. I ain't, I don't know what it was, but, you know, that's his choice. But he was wrong to say, to mislead me. You don't want somebody 
get out of the way so God can put that right person in their lives. A lot of times men are selfish. They say they want the cake and the ice cream too. But I learned they can't dish out. They can't take what they dish out. They can cheat on you all day long and lie to you all day long. But when you do that stuff back to them, they holler like a two-year-old kid. You kidding me? Don't feel good, dude. It doesn't feel good, do it, does it? To be stood up, to uh, have somebody worrying on you about all night long when you stay it out, to get ghosted, lied to, cheated on. They can't handle what they dish out. So, I don't hate men. I love you guys. But stop doing things that you ain't willing to, you don't want done to you. You want somebody to treat you right, you treat somebody right. You want somebody to be faithful to you, you be faithful. They go both ways, women and men. I keep telling my Lord, Lord, help me, help me find me a good wife and a good husband. And you ain't honorable, sir or ma'am. The song about uh, sweep around your own door. Clean your house up. Get your house in order. Be what you want. You want a good woman or a good man? You be it first. And God has seen your uh, equal, equal partner. I'm working on me today. I don't have time. I don't even want a relationship. I'm still healing from the last one. That's been seven years ago, and I'm free today. But uh, you want toys, go to Target or Walmart. Stop playing with people's hearts and emotions. This lady working, trying to build a house with you and you out, paying somebody else's bills while she at home watching your funky drawers. Tell me, make that make sense. You had a nerve to beg and plead when they leave you. You cause a lot of this stuff on yourself. Be wise out there, ladies. Be wise, gentlemen. It, it works both ways. Don't do nothing to nobody you don't want done unto you. That's come from the good book. If you live your life by God's law and on his foundation, you won't be picking up serpents. You'll pick up an honorable woman and man. See how he act when you try to give him that Bible. If he run from it like he got crip night. You better leave that devil alone. He don't want nothing to do with Jesus. You dating the enemy. You better try the spirit by the spirit. Tell God to give you eyes so you can see. Give you the discernment. Stop being asleep out there. Yeah, be sober minded while you're dating and courting. Because more of that liquor you're pouring down your throat and smoking weed, you don't see that demon right in front of you. That's my experience, strength, and hope. I don't want nobody to go through what I went through. And I share my story, my testimony, because there's somebody out there going through what I went through. I'm blessed today. I'm happy and free in Jesus' name. All my needs are met. Now I heard that he went back, not a cold day in hockey sticks. No, I wasn't good enough then, and I ain't good enough now. I don't wrote books that's going all over the world. Yeah, I got my replace. I'm working. Uh, I'm doing a mighty work for God today. I stay at the Lord's feet. So anything that anybody want me got to come through Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't let you come to me like that no more. Cause I'm too trusting. I was petting a snake. Oh, he looks so cute. Yeah, my my Lord and Savior, baby, you can't see. 
That's a demon. But I'm going to let him bite you. Because you need to get your lesson out of it. All the way down to my socks. Why am I working? He had a woman in my bed. Girls, kings and queens, you don't want nobody hurting your parents or your nieces and nephews and your daughters. Tell me why y'all do it to your mates. Yeah. Because what you do to them, God going to let somebody do it to your kids or your nieces and nephews or your cousins. Come on, guys. Karma is real. You read what you sow. Stop letting the devil use y'all. Go let the Lord use you. And that's my word for the day. And I pray it land on good ears and good ground. You take it and run with it. Because it's going to save your life. Turn your life around. Start moving different. People that's not living right, still in line and getting this surf. Yeah, I cheated on this and I cheated on that one. Yeah, y'all boys get in clubs and talk about how many women you don't broke hearts. Yeah, God see all that. He going to get you. He had you eating out of the garbage can. And then you're on the down low. Y'all watch out for yourselves out there. They ain't Satan don't care who we using. You remember the story of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah? I just thank God for the saints that's praying all over the world. Noah said, if I can find 10, if you can find 10 people that are living right, Lord, you won't destroy us. It's a nightmare out there. You don't want to fall in the hands of an angry God. I pray y'all clean yourself up. Time is winding down. And it go for me too. Y'all be blessed out there and I love you. This is your amazing girl, your princess, amazing grace. Seek deep first the kingdom of God. And he would fight your battles, make ways out of no ways, give you some new friends, a good way to live, take you from being called a hoe to a, to a, a queen. Yeah, I was once a Jezebel. Alcoholic and addict too. I'm free today and I'm glad about it. Satan, I ain't in Satan's uh, kingdom. I'm spreading the gospel, shining light on darkness. Wake up. Turn your car around and seek the, seek the Lord. People drinking, smoking dope, whatever they're doing, get away from them. Let the Lord deal with them. You change yourself. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. You can't go to heaven for me or your, your aunts. Then you can't go to heaven on nobody. Oh, my aunt and North and my cousin. No, 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 no. It's a one, one on one relationship, sir and ma'am. You can't go on your grandma. Your grandma and your the prayers of the righteous is keeping you. But God, you want to go to God yourself and confess and to repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry, help me. And turn your life around. Can't say I'm sorry and keep sitting. So y'all be blessed. If you want to change, you want to do something, you got power. Stop acting like you're the victim. Get up. Cry out to God and let God change your life. Give it over to Jesus. You can't do it. Satan got you this toast to and from. You're lying and stealing, jumping from bed to bed. You ain't taking care of your kids. Yeah, that's, that's what the devil is doing for you out there. Still in line, using, manipulating people, gaslighting, you can name it. Darkness. The works of the devil. Anything that's confusion, trouble and drama, works of the devil. Y'all be blessed out there.